okay, again, to prove to you from Scripture that man does indeed have free will. Not only does the term free will appear more than 10 times in the King James Bible, I think it appears around 17 times, but man has free will to obey God or disobey him. Now, obviously, man should obey God. Uh, if you're a child of God, obviously, you should obey God. But the Calvinists, they take that way too far and say that God controls everything that ever happens and that you basically are this robot, essentially, which is not biblical at all. I'm going to show you from the Bible that man does, in fact, have the ability, the free will, to disobey God. Now, they shouldn't do that, obviously, but they have that choice, too. They have the free will, too, I'll put it that way. 1 Kings chapter 11, verses 9 to 10. And the Lord was angry with Solomon, because his heart was turned from the Lord God of Israel, which had appeared to him unto him twice, and had commanded him concerning this thing, that he should not go after other gods, but he kept not that, w that which the Lord commanded. What do you have here? Well, God commanded King Solomon not to go after the false pagan gods, and he did it anyway. His heart was turned away, he did. He did, basically, he sinned anyway. What do you have there? Free will. He had a choice to either obey God, or disobey him, and he chose to disobey God, unfortunately. Jeremiah chapter 7, verses 22 to 24. For I spake not unto your fathers, nor commanded them in the day that I brought them out of the land of Egypt concerning burnt offerings or sacrifices, but this thing I commanded unto so this thing commanded I them, saying, Obey my voice, and I will be your God, and ye shall be my people. And walk ye in all my ways that I have commanded you, that it, may, that it may be well unto you. But they hearkened not, nor inclined nor inclined their ear, but walked in the counsels and the imagination of their evil heart, and went backward, not forward, and not forward. What do you got there? Again, they're choosing to disobey God. They had a choice to obey God, and they didn't. They chose to disobey him. What do you got there? Free will. Jeremiah chapter 30, or sorry, Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 30 to 31. For the children of Judah have done evil in my sight, saith the Lord. They have set their abominations in the house which is called by my name to pollute it. And they built, and they have built the high places of Tophet which is in the valley of the son of Hinnom, and burnt, to burn their sons and their daughters in the fire, which I commanded them not, neither came it into my heart. So not only is God saying he, didn't, he told them not to do this, and they're doing it anyway, he said it didn't even come into his heart. So if everything that ever happened is God's will, how, what do you have here? How do you answer this? He's saying it didn't even come into his heart they would do such a thing. Because man has a free will. God obviously does have control, obviously, I'm not denying that. But man still has the free will to accept or reject Christ. That's why Paul talks about, or not, not Paul, that's why in the book of Acts, it talks about, you know, people resisting the Holy Ghost, and you know, you stiff-necked, why do you always resist the Holy Ghost? People have the choice to, re to reject or accept the gospel and, and obey or disobey God. Jeremiah chapter 11, verses 6 to 8. Then the Lord said unto me, Proclaim all these words in the cities of Judah, and in the streets of Jerusalem, saying, Hear ye the words of this covenant, and do them. For I earnestly, uh, for I earnestly protested unto your fathers in the day that I brought them up out of the land of Egypt, even unto his day, this day, rising early and protesting, saying, Obey my voice. Yet they obeyed not, nor inclined their ear, but walked every one in the imagination of their evil heart. Therefore I will bring upon them all the words of this covenant which I commanded them to do, but they but they did them not. So again, you see this theme over and over again. They're disobeying God. They're not God commanded them to do something, and they refuse to do it out of their own free will. Jeremiah chapter nineteen verses four to five. Because they have forsaken me, and have estranged of this place, and have burnt, burned incense in it unto other gods, whom neither neither they nor their fathers have known, nor the kings of Judah, and have filled this place with the blood of the innocents. And they have built also the high places of Baal, to burn their sons with fire, for burnt offerings unto Baal, which I commanded not, nor spake it, neither came it into my mind. 
So again, just like in Jeremiah 7, God saying he didn't even come into his mind to do such a thing. Totally flies in the face of, oh, man, man has no free will in God. Basically, he pre preordains everything that's going to happen. It's a Calvinist heresy. Jeremiah chapter 32, verses 35. And they built the high places of Baal, which are in the valley of the son of Hinnom, to cause their sons and their daughters to pass through the fire unto Moloch, which I commanded them not, neither came it into my mind that they should do this abomination to cause Judah to sin. So God says three different times that it didn't even come to his mind. It was not his will that they would do such a thing. See, again, man has the free will. They, they chose to basically essentially do abortion, essentially, because abortion is just child sacrifice, which is actually funny because if you think about it, by Calvinist logic, if everything that happens is God's will, I guess when abortion was legalized, I guess that was God's will. You know, I guess when when the uh, pedophile pagan Catholic priests uh, raped little boys, I guess that was God who did that. Apparently, I mean, totally wicked. I guess when when uh, if if incest or bestiality gets legalized, I guess it was God who who did it. Apparently, totally wicked. I mean, you have this Westboro Baptist cult. And they are, you know, militant against the sodomites. And, you know, obviously sodomy is a wicked sin. But by their own Calvinist logic, it was God's will that the sodomites basically be given protection under the law and that sodomite marriage get legalized. So by their own theology, it basically was God's will that, you know, sodomites get rights. It's ridiculous. It's heresy. So man has free will. And what they're doing here is basically abortion and they're sacrificing their sons. That's what abortion is. And daughters, and God says it didn't even come into His mind. It, it, it didn't even. It, he was not willing this would happen, because man has a free will. They can accept or reject Christ. Simply go in your Bible and search up the term free will. I said this at the beginning of the video. It appears over 17 times in the King James Bible. The term sovereignty of God doesn't even appear once in the entire Bible. So don't be deceived by Calvinism. It is essentially just an offshoot of the mother of all false religions, the Roman Catholic Church. Uh, of course, Calvin did preach against Catholicism, but, you know, many branches of Protestantism, like Calvinism, are just simply Catholicism repackaged. A daughter of the mother of all false religions, the Roman Catholic Church. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.